Hey, I missed y'all. It's been a while. I've been getting my nature nerd on in full force, so let me fill you in on what I've been up to these last months. All right, so about six, seven months ago, I woke up and I was like, ah, there really isn't an easy to use comprehensive identification field guide for all the common sunfishes. I better make one. Well, I'm not really that articulate when I wake up. It was more like this. Ugh. Sunfishes. Field guide. All right, I'm going back to bed. So anyways, so, so these sunfishes are some of the most beautiful and colorful freshwater fishes here in North America. I mean, just look at this long ear sunfish. Is that not gorgeous? So to make a long story short, in the last many months, I did a hell of a lot of research, writing, and driving as I caught and collected data, photos, and video of all 13 currently recognized species of sunfishes within the genus Lepimus in eight different states, including the District of Columbia, published a field guide with tons of photos, graphics, and useful information that is all freely available on the Koa Nature website at koa.org forward slash sunfishes. And this guide is not just for anglers and outdoor enthusiasts, it's also for wildlife managers and other researchers monitoring ecosystem health and uh, doing surveys. Because here at Koa Nature, we are all about spreading that knowledge. And if you live in North America, then you know these fishes. And you probably know these fishes if you don't even know you know these fishes, as they are all over. They're probably out in your local creek, river, or lake. Among them, the bluegill and green sunfish are two of the most ubiquitous species existing across much of North America. And guess what? They can hybridize with one another. That right there is a green gill, a hybrid between the bluegill and green sunfish. And in fact, theoretically, all of these species in the genus can hybridize with one another. So if you know me, or you've gotten to know me over these last couple of years watching a couple of my videos, then you know that I love nerding out about nature. You might also know that I love hockey, go abs, and of course I love my family and friends. I also love those little chocolate covered donuts. Oh my goodness, those are so good. But anyways, I digress. What I'm trying to get is I also love fishing, and I love fishes. And so I figured Koa Nature has been doing pretty well. We reach about 10,000 people every month. I think we could expand a bit. So with that passion for ichthyology and fishing, I finally decided to make a Koa Nature sister channel here on YouTube called KN Fishing Smarts that is purely for those of us wanting to learn and share knowledge about fishing and fishes. So if you're watching on a computer right now or a, a smartphone, then a short little 45 second channel trailer for Koa Nature's new channel is gonna pop up. I hope you watch it. I hope you share that around. I hope you subscribe if you're a fisher or into fishes because that's gonna be some sweetness right there. Because we will be upping our fishing smarts on Koa Fishing Smarts and all of the base videos for that Lepimus field guide will be on that channel. And I just posted a video on the green gill, that hybrid. But don't you worry, here on the Koa Nature flagship channel, we will still be partaking in the wonderful offerings of our natural world. I do have some reptile amphibian videos that I've been meaning to produce, but creating an entire field guide for those fishes took up some time. But now I can cross that off my nature nerd bucket list. All right, field guide done. But I want to show you on this channel a little bit of video of each one of these species just so you can see how beautiful they are.
All right, so the channel trailer is probably right there. You should click on it. These are the patrons. They support Koa Nature. If you want to be a patron, go to koa.org forward slash support. But you shouldn't still be here anyways. You should be clicked right here. I'm waiting. <laughs>